Hello everybody and after a long time welcome to another interchange tutorial video. This is the Infinity Interchange. It's a name that I made up just because the two highway ramp loops form an infinity symbol, kind of, with a bit of imagination of course. It's a very simple yet high capacity interchange design that you can build very quickly in your city and it doesn't look bad at all. This is not a vanilla tutorial, workshop mods are involved here. The absolutely necessary mods are Move It, Fine Road Tool, Fine Road Anarchy, Traffic Manager, President Edition, and Precision Engineering. Not much else to say here, let's go build it. So before I build the interchange, all I have in here is just a very very simple highway, completely straight, uh, just a two-piece highway using the vanilla roads, okay? Nothing, nothing all that fancy. So what I'm going to start with is just the highway ramp and road guidelines. I'm gonna build a straight parallel highway ramps to this highway. I'm gonna build it as close as I can like this. So that's some uh, three units from the main highway, okay? And I'm gonna build it uh, some, I don't know, maybe 27 units, doesn't really matter at this point. Uh, something over, something over 20 is fine, okay? And I'm going to build it uh, exactly the same way on the opposite side, all right? And I'm gonna switch directions on both of them so that it's uh, it's like it should be and it's not confusing, okay? So I have this. It doesn't really need to align at these points, it doesn't really need to align, you just need to have it in here uh, parallel with the same distance from the main highway like on the other side, okay? Now the way we're gonna build this is that we're gonna build one side and then we're gonna copy paste it with move it to the other side because it's a symmetrical interchange, okay? So we're just gonna build the first one. I'm gonna take some road that is uh, that has zoning, so for example the basic two-lane road. I, I need to pick a road that is zonable, otherwise the road length snapping would not work, okay? And then I'm gonna take curved road and I'm gonna build three quarters of a circle with five unit radius, okay? So exactly like this. Now for the second part, of, for the next phase, for next step, I need to clip off this road, I need to delete it, because it would be in the way. I obviously have uh, road anarchy activated, but uh, I still need to, I still need to uh, not have it there. So now I'm going to choose the alignment between the two loops on the other side, on the opposing side of the highway. And I chose for this next step to build a very, very simple uh, curved road like this, which is going to have these dimensions. It's going to have 145 degrees between them and three units of, uh, of, the, of the tangent lines, okay? So I'm gonna build it exactly like this. You can even go for 180 direction, you can even build these connections over the highway at, uh, you know, perfectly per perpendicular to the main highway, or you can even go lower with that angle. It's completely up to you. I just chose 145 and three units, okay? Now I can, obviously I have road anarchy, like I said, so I can switch this back and uh, change this into the highway because now I don't need it. I don't need to have that, uh, that uh, helping road. And I can just, uh, well, first before I do this, I'm going to probably switch every road that I'm gonna build for elevated because it's gonna be much easier to work with it, okay? And uh, I can just do like a very, very rough preliminary uh, like corrections to the height, maybe something like this. And later I could probably uh, make it much better with uh, even some help of the ruler prop, for example, or something like that, okay? So, like now, right now we can, we can just leave it like this. Now, this dead end road, I'm just going to make it uh, longer, I'm just gonna make it go over the highway, it doesn't really matter how uh, far over the highway it goes, something like this is fine. Now I want to go back to the road guidelines and I want to create a little half circles over this uh, this inner loop, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and gonna create the first one. I can use just the simple road guidelines here and uh, the highway ramp already. And I'm gonna go for this. Now, what's kind of important here to note is that you are getting that 90 degree angle. You can see that I'm not exactly having 90 degrees in here. I'm not sure why that is, but I guess there is some uh, some in imprecision, is that even a word? Uh, Non-precision? Yeah, that's probably better. Uh, with the road guidelines snapping, I guess. But 90.1 is kind of all right. And I'm gonna do go for it the other side as well. And we can see that we have that point one uh, missing in here, but that's probably fine. And I want to do the same thing for the other side. And this is actually something that I'm kind of glad it happened because it might happen to you and it will distort your project and will 
uh, give you a headache. So let's see how you can deal with it and how we can actually spot it in the first place. I want to obviously snap to the road guideline projected by this node that I'm looking at here, right? But the game is actually giving me an intersection of the road guideline coming even from this highway. And that's obviously quite off from the position where I want to start this road from, right? So I need to spot that. I need to make sure that I see that it's happening. And then I need to just take move it and simply move this node somewhere, somewhere else. So it's not going to project that uh, road guideline. So I did, for example, that. And now we are fine. As you can see, it still wants to sometimes, I, I think I saw it there. It wanted to snap somewhere else. Oh, there it was. So that. But uh, this is, oh, there we go, there we go, yeah. So this is not what I want to see. It's obviously projected from that other side of the highway. Again, I can probably move it somewhere else. And then I should be able to do this exactly some, what, what is this? Uh, two units probably away from that road, okay. So now we can finish it again, 90.1, that's perfectly fine. And do it for the other side and see that we have 90.6 because again, it's giving us that, uh, that intersection that uh, crossing point between those two road guidelines. So I need to move this node somewhere else and then do it again. There we go, 89.9, much better. Now, because of these outer connections, because of these outer uh, loops or half circles are made from like a larger radius uh, connection, larger radius segments, they are built using multiple segments. They are actually built from four segments. So what I want to do now is just destroy these middle ones and only leave these one eighth of a, of a circle, okay? Actually, I don't need this one. I don't really want it there. So I'm just, I'm just going to destroy it. It's the one that's obviously closer to that entrance road, okay? So what I can do now is create that uh, outside road going into the inner change from that opposite direction, okay? So I'm going to pick some kind of a road, let's say the four lane road, doesn't really matter. And I'm gonna go for a surface road and I'm gonna make it for the road guideline that's going from that loop, let's say from this one, okay? And I'm gonna go for that 10 unit distance and I don't need really 12 meters. Let's go for eight maybe and let's make it somewhere over there. And now we have this. So now I can take the highway ramps again and just use the freeform road and do very simple roads like this, okay? Now that's for the inner roads, but for the outer ones, this one, I need to do it in two steps. I'm gonna turn off road guidelines, don't need it. And first step, second step. And over here, I need to have road guidelines again. I'm gonna go from this point. And again, two steps, road guidelines off. One, two, there we go. And I'm gonna switch it for elevated just so it looks a bit better, okay? And I also need to switch uh, the correct directions. So I'm going to switch these to the other side and this one, right? So obviously we have created an intersection. You would want to create uh, some kind of custom uh, lanes in here and I actually made it uh, made it uh, not correct. Yeah, yeah, I made it made it go the opposite way. Obviously you need to have it like this because we do have right hand traffic, okay? So now you want to take traffic manager and do the correct uh, lines like this. Very, very simple. And after you're done, you're just going to switch off uh, traffic uh, traffic lights like this. Okay, very, very simple. Now for the next step, I want to delete uh, this highway over here. Very, very similar to how I deleted this segment because I'm going to be doing some roads over here and this highway would be just in the way, right? I'm going to take uh, road uh, guidelines again and freeform and I'm gonna create another one of those uh, half uh, quarter circles like this for that inner road or middle road, I guess, okay? And again, I'm gonna clip off the last segment, so I'm just going to get one eighth of that circle, okay? And I'm going to copy it with uh, that uh, outer road as well, okay? And again, make sure that uh, the road guideline is projected uh, like it should be, and it's not some intersecting point between two different, uh, different road guidelines, okay? So now I can just put this back, this highway back, and I'm going to go to the other side and I'm gonna finish this connection, okay? So I'm going to take the, uh, the highway ramp again, freeform road, and I'm gonna go for an elevated road and something like this. And I want to have, let's say 15 unit, uh, 15 degree connection or 12.8, that probably should be fine. So I'm gonna go and build it to the end of that road, doesn't really matter, okay? And uh, we, can, we can leave it like this. We're gonna uh, do fi final modifications to that road later. I'm gonna switch directions and we have it like this. Okay, so this is almost done. So this step is gonna be slightly more complicated, but uh, not that much. 
I'm going to select absolutely everything that I built at this point, even this road that I have uh, that I have created from the from the highway. OK, and uh, also I need to create. I also need to select these, but I'm not going to select this road that goes parallel on the other side. OK, I'm going to copy it. And now I just need to check before I plop it down. I just need to check if I have everything looks like I do. So I'm going to use the secondary mouse button with move it to rotate this creation exactly 180 degrees. And I need to have the toggle snapping enabled at this point so that I can use this road that I have built parallel to that highway so that it perfectly aligns with the with the counterpart from the opposite side. And now I need to place it down so that this road and the counterpart from it from the one that I'm plopping down right now is uh, is obviously side by side. So this is exactly what I want to have plop. There we go. OK, so now this road that was here, I obviously want to delete it because it's just uh, it's just uh, in the way. Obviously, you might have you might have clicked uh, the wrong button and deleted a road that you didn't want to. That happens, but you can obviously just uh, destroy absolutely everything in here and put put it back. I'm going to build it from this direction so it already has the proper orientation. All right, and this looks almost like it's done. So what I want to do here is I want to clip off uh, this connection. You know what? I'm actually going to clip it off completely, even though I said that you need it, but uh, you kind of don't. And I'm going to take road guidelines and I'm going to build this road again. But now I want to have it aligned to this end in here. And I'm going to do the same thing for the opposite side. Now, the, now the obvious reason for this is that you want to have it aligned so that you can do this. OK, with the road guidelines. Now, obviously, you can see that this angle is not very precise, which means that you might want to take uh, move it and probably stretch this road just a tiny bit and then do it again. So you will get a much nicer angle. You can get it. You can get it really, really precise all the way to 180. Or maybe you just don't care. I, I don't know. And obviously just rotate it around so it has proper orientation. So I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm just going to make it go a bit longer and get uh, some kind of uh, road like this. 179. That's very, very good. Now I want to take which one? Which one is this? I want to take the outer road, the outer road that I have built over here. And that needs to be connected to this node. All right. So I can either do it completely with the, in one go using just one segment in and free form just like this. It's perfectly fine. Or you might create like a little uh, straight segment going from here and then have like a better angle for this connection. But for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm just going to have it like this and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Now, the biggest selling point of this interchange, how it's easy to create is that it's symmetrical. So everything you do once you need to do twice, obviously on the other side. Right. So now that we have this, here comes a second slightly difficult part. OK, so I'm going to take these four nodes. OK, I'm going to copy them and I want to again rotate them. But this time I am going to switch off. I'm going to switch off uh, the the toggle snapping because it's not really going to be oriented perpendicular to, to these the original points. But uh, I think I'm probably going to use some some magic of editing. I'm going to highlight the nodes that I'm talking about. And you want to have these nodes oriented, oriented, sorry, so that they match, they kind of aim towards those dead end roads that you have here. OK, so you want to create pretty much you want to create pretty much something like something like this. OK. Let's say that I need to have it something like this. Now, it's not really all that necessary to have it right at this point because you just need to plop it down and then move it over over this highway. After you are done doing the entire interchange, you obviously want to get rid of some pillars that are in the way. And now you just want to you know, just want to complete it. I'm going to turn off load guidelines and put it in here. So I have some 172 degrees in there, which is obviously not perfect. But at the same time, it's not really all that terrible. So now I can, for example, take this uh, again, these four nodes and maybe orient it a bit better so I can just rotate it uh, like this. And I'm going to watch how these these nodes down here change and when they actually change so that uh, there's like a little change in texture or the shape of that node. I know that that's how I need to do it. OK, 
So this is right. This is probably something that I need to need to go for. And I can, for example, align these nodes uh, for the ones that I just copied. So it's a bit better. And then uh, just uh, you know, very very smoothly put these uh, up uh, these nodes uh, up up as well. Okay. So something like this. And we are almost done. We are almost done. So just a few connections and we are totally, totally 100% done. So what I want to do now is I just want to take road guidelines again, straight road, and I want to create a road that is going to go parallel to this one. So like this, for example, doesn't really matter. And I want to connect it in here. As you can see, it's not giving me a very nice angle. So I can do a little trick. I can just instead of connecting it to that node, with using road anarchy, I'm just going to connect it somewhere further down the road, okay? Literally down the road. And I'm just going to do it so that I'm going to have a nice connection with 80, 180 degrees. So this is probably it, okay? And obviously this, uh, this little end here, I can just destroy, okay? Very, 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 very simple. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, okay? So I'm just going to make like a in some somehow longer road and do the same thing. So I'm going to watch those uh, like uh, the lines on the side in here of this railing, let's say, and when they are perfectly parallel to that railing, I'm just going to click and there we go. We have it. And again, clip off that road. Nice. Now what I want to do is I want to create a parallel road to this one that I've already built. I'm going to do it uh, for both sides. And I want to create a connection that goes from that point in here. Okay. And again, I might have a better angle. I'm actually going to go for a better angle. I'm going to build, uh, I'm going to stretch this a bit further. Let's say, uh, obviously, you need to have the snapping for this stretching to like maybe the half of that, uh, of that distance between these two roads. So maybe something like this, I'm obviously eyeballing it, not really making it all that precise and then do something like this. Okay, some kind of a connection like this. This is obviously for turning uh, right into uh, from that side road into the highway right turn. Okay, so that's almost it. Let's just make sure that we have all the directions right. So we need to turn around these two guys. And then we also need to turn uh, around this one and this one that we have built. Okay, and this road is just going to uh, it's just going to be up to you to really uh, use move it in here and just make this road go nicely down. So I'm going to go ahead and do that very, very quickly, roughly, probably. Let's say that this point right here is my point that I want to have already on the surface. I'm just going to go ahead and align it perfectly to the same height as the surface road, just like this, and then just use move it and kind of smooth it down a bit. But uh, at this point, you know, it's kind of up to you to just make it make it nice. Then I can probably make like a very, very small uh, segment like this that's going to serve as let's say, I don't know, like a buffer segment maybe between these connections. So I'm just going to connect it there and then back into the highway. So maybe without road guidelines, maybe something like this. Again, I'm going to go for let's say 25 degrees doesn't really matter. And again, heights for this road. So this one actually can go back to the surface maybe. And we obviously need to align these. So I'm going to align it like that. And that's already looking, that's already looking quite nice. So this is obviously the last step of the entire build. I'm probably just going to not really finish it 100% like I wanted to. Why is this not really trying to align? Why is this node not trying to align? It's probably the same height. I'm not really sure. Uh, anyway, what was I saying? Right, we are done. We are done with this uh, with this interchange. Obviously, these uh, these connections are just something that uh, you will do very very quickly. So again, 25 degrees, very roughly, obviously, and uh, and 25 over here. And the same thing that I have done on this side, I'm gonna make on this side as well. Okay. So that's all for this interchange. I hope you liked it and you're going to build it uh, very quickly, just like I did. It took me some, what is this, 19 minutes. So that's a very, very simple interchange, as you can see. And uh, you can build it really quickly and it's going to be very, very efficient. All right, guys. Before you ask, I am not going to put it in the workshop. It is really simple and you can build it yourself. I definitely believe you can do it. I hope this video was useful to you guys. If it was and you liked it, then leave a like, comment, share, subscribe if you're new here, follow me on Twitter. Thanks for watching. Take care. Goodbye.